Hey everyone, and welcome to part 26 of how to clone a Pokemon game. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to create a monster inventory instead of just a monster equipped. This way, when we actually go into combat and our monster dies, the main one that's out on the field, we can actually go through our monster inventory and check and see for another one that's alive and bring out that monster. So we're going to completely get rid of monster equipped and just create a monster inventory, which is just going to be a simple array and we're going to be able to do a lot more with this as well. Um, so later in the series, I don't know if we want to change this to a list or not, we probably do, but we want to make it so we can also like switch around the different monsters and uh, take out and replace different monsters depending on you know what we want to do with that. So we'll just jump into the code real quick. And we're just going to be replacing monster equipped with two different variables. So we're going to be doing monster inventory, which is, yeah, just going to be storing our different monsters that we currently have on us, and then monster on field, which is going to be keeping track of which monster in our monster inventory is currently on, on the field. So you can keep track of this a different way, but this is just a very basic way of keeping track of that. So what we're going to do now is just scroll down to our copy monster, and this is still a testing function. This is not going to be where we're going to be storing all our, or how we're going to be actually copying over the monsters. It's going to be going out and actually capturing them and putting them into your inventory. But for now, for testing purposes, we're just going to be generating uh, generic monsters from our all monsters script. So it's pretty much the exact same of what we had before for just our equip monster, but we're going to be copying over with the i variable. So when we go through this for loop, we want to place a copy of the monster into each slot in our array of our monster's inventory. So it's going to go through six times and it's going to put a monster in each slot of our inventory and that's going to be a different monster for each one. Well, currently it's just going to be the same monster right here, all monsters zero, so the first one in all monsters will just be copied to all those slots. You can change that if you want, but for now we're just going to keep it all the same. And also, we want to copy over the attacks from each one of those monsters. So just the first monster, we want to just grab the four attacks that it has and assign it to um, our monster's inventory for each slot. So I'm going to close this real quick, and I'm going to go into main. So when we actually generate this monster's inventory, uh, we want to set the size to however many monsters you want. Um, if you change this to something lower or higher than six, you're also going to have to adjust the uh, for loop as well to make up for that. So right now we're just going to be adding six. You can see it's all blank. Um, in attacks, you want to add four to that because we have four attacks. And you want to do that for each one or else you're going to run into errors with that. So we can jump back in here, scroll back up, and we're going to go to our update function. So now what we need to do is actually go in and change all the monster equips to monster inventory and monster on field. So it's going to be grabbing the stats of the monster we currently have on field. Later we are going to make it so if we're checking and that monster dies, we want to go through a different for loop and find the next monster in the lineup that has uh, more than zero HP and put that monster out on the field. Or we can make it so we can actually select which monster we want to bring out to the field whichever way we want to do that. But we'll be covering that later. For right now, we just change that. And also what you want to do is you want to go through your main and monsters attacked and you want to change um, each of the monster equipped variables to your, um, let's see here. We, we want to add in this code instead. So this is just going to be referencing for both on here uh, which monster we currently have on the field from our monsters inventory. So you're going to have to replace all those monsters equipped. You can go simply to search and find, and you can find um, those pieces of code by just typing in here and type in what you want to replace it with, which would be this full code, and just hit replace all. And that should replace everything that you need. You might get a couple of errors and have to fix some things up. I had to fix a few, but it should transfer over just fine. So we're going to jump into game real quick, and I'll show you guys how this is set up. So our monsters inventory, it's going to add monster one. So that's going to be from our all monsters in the first slot. 
You can see in here the different attacks that we have and all the stats. And that just gets copied over to each slot in here. Like I said, you could change it so it's not a for loop. Or you could have a for loop and just have it loop through your all monsters and add the first six. Um, however you want to set that up. But yeah, we're just testing with this. So, yep. So if we go and we run through the grass real quick. And you can see our monster one is showed up there. We can use our vine attack attack. And everything is still functioning as normal as we had it before. But now we have a lot more leeway of, you know, um, choosing more combat strategies in this way. So yeah, if monsters die, we can replace them. If we want to take out a monster and bring out a different monster before that monster dies, we can do that. And then we're also going to be setting up a uh, center so you can heal them and whatnot and different stuff like that. I know you could add like rare candies and all that to your monsters, be able to take them and store them into like a storage area or anything like that.